to a Symantec Premium Support vidbit on how to manually upgrade DLP Enforce on a Windows server. DLP allows Enforce to be upgraded to the Enforce GUI, but sometimes this is not possible due to environmental or other variables, in which case a manual upgrade must be performed. In this video, we will be upgrading Enforce from 14.6 to 15.0. It's important to note that these steps are not version specific, so they will work on other versions. Before starting the upgrade of Enforce, it's important to make sure that you're logged out of Enforce and that no other users are logged into Enforce, because this can cause problems during the upgrade. Next, we want to browse the installer and pull out the upgrade file. We're going to browse to the upgrade underscore 14.x to 15.0 folder in the installer, and we're going to copy the 15.0 underscore upgrader underscore windows dot jar file into the updates folder. Next, we need to rename this .jar file to .zip so we can extract it. And we're going to extract it right into this directory. Next, we want to bring up a command window as administrator and cd into this current directory. Next, we want to run the start underscore upgrade underscore wizard dot bat file. You notice it starts a Tomcat window. Once this Tomcat window shows HTTP BIO 8300, which means it's opened up port 8300, next we're going to go to a browser and we're going to browse to localhost colon 8300 on HTTPS. This window here may take a while to load depending upon the size of your DLP environment or your database. So don't be surprised if this sits here for a few minutes. Next we'll use our credentials and we'll log in. You accept the license agreement. Now let's get in performance system check to see if there's any, any incompatibilities. Looks like it's compatible, so we'll click Next. Ordinarily, you would use you know, the automatic distribution for your detection server upgrade packages. But some customers, depending upon their network, have conditions that prevent DLP from automatically pushing out the packages to the detection servers. So it gives you the option to manually distribute the packages. For this video, we're going to manually distribute. Pick next. Now it's going to perform some pre checks. The pre checks completed successfully. We'll click next. Now we're ready to upgrade.
Looks like the update's complete, so we click Next. Some customers use external storage for storing their incidents. We don't have that here for this purpose, so we're just going to click Next and bypass it. Here it does some supportability telemetry. It lets you choose whether this is a production version or a test version. For the purposes of this, we're going to select test version. And we're going to skip the remaining detection servers. Looks like the upgrade was successful. We'll click finish. Now we're back at the DLP Enforce login screen. So next we'll log into Enforce and verify that it got upgraded. We go to System, Servers and Detectors Overview. As we can see, the Enforce server is now on version 15.0.0. And we notice that the detection server is still on 14.6, but that will, that will be upgraded later. Those are the steps to manually upgrade Enforce. Thank you for watching.